Good morning, everyone. Uh, I hope this message and live finds you well. I've been away, as you know, for a couple of weeks, uh, or if you're watching this on YouTube or you're listening to this on the podcast. Um, I hope you've had a good time. I hope, I hope you've not been too uh, sick of uh, missing my voice and anecdotes. Only joking. Um, my girlfriend had to put up with me for two weeks, so imagine how she feels. Um, I uh, have titled this um, that uh, why I have an autoresponder on my WhatsApp. And um, I'm sure a lot of you listening to this get bombarded and inundated with messages from that regard and emails and Instagram messages and, and all sorts. And it feels like this little device is the thing that we can't, she can't escape it and sometimes it gets incredibly overwhelming i um i remember uh a few years ago when i first started working in professional sport i got uh, an email no email no that was the other time i got a phone call on my day off at 5 30 in the morning from my boss who couldn't find the keys to a cupboard. Now, from that day on, I turned my phone off to sleep and bought an alarm clock instead. Um, because I learned a very valuable lesson is that people are not contacting you for your convenience at the times that suit you. People don't have the foresight to understand that, um, which is sad which is frightening um, because when did it become a problem to want to have your own time? And as you progress through your career and, and, you know, if you embark on the challenge of running your own business and time and attention are really important, they're really, really sacred commodities. And because just because the world operates in a pace that is unsustainable, why do you feel that you need to keep up with it? It brings me to a point is that do you remember, um, some of you may, some of you may not, when email first uh, arrived on the scene? I'm an 80s baby, 88, now 34. Whoop, whoop. Um, and I remember um, a real, this real technological generational shift. And I remember having to go down to the phone box to, call the girl I fancied and then hang up and you know all those sorts of things um but I do remember dial up internet and I remember email and uh MSM messenger and all those things and slowly as I became you know more of an adult I was a I played rugby with the senior team when I was 17 and the guys there a lot of them worked in IT and they'll talk about the amount of emails that they got the amount of emails that they got and so they had to learn to put auto responders on their emails and and I didn't really understand that at the time and I didn't understand what sort of that created but as time has gone by and as time has progressed um now the the medium of email is on your phone, but not to the point. The medium of people's access to you is through multiple platforms. So people don't care how they get hold of you. They just need to get hold of you for their own interest, for their own best purpose. And that's a problem. That's an issue. Um, and I find it very challenging. And that's why I put an autoresponder on my WhatsApp. I migrated to WhatsApp business. I put an autoresponder on WhatsApp. I was able to create categories of uh, friends, uh, people I work with, so that I can tune in and tune out to those. Um, <clears throat> and it will allow me to do a couple of things. Um, increase and maintain professional and personal boundaries, uh, and also give me headspace and sanity you know, I turn my phone off 7.30 at night, most nights, um, so I can have time to wind down before I go to bed without a phone lighting up or going off. And even if I put it in another room, I put it in the other room, might as well just turn it off. Um, so 
and and it brings me to like a really important point that we talk about on the in the groups and the mentorship and everything is about how to set up and establish your boundaries because um going through the course of my professional coaching career in clubs um the email i remember an email i got and i just remember i didn't finish the story about the keys um guess where the keys were in his drawer he just couldn't find them so he thought he would call me to ask me at 5 30 on my day off so that's the crux of that story but my brain moves too fast um and so and so um but it brings me to another email that I got again, five o'clock on a Sunday morning, and I hadn't had my phone on. It didn't wake me up or anything like that. But it was um, demanding a GPS report. And I thought, what type of idiot needs, and the one day off of a, of a week, what type of idiot needs to see a GPS report that's not actually going to change the way that the following day works? Why can't you just be patient and wait for it in the morning? Why can't you give yourself headspace? Why can't you um, leave me alone, <laughs> essentially? Um, and and that gave like a huge, a huge point and a huge turning point um, because I started to create resentment. Um, and that's a dangerous game when you start going down that road because if people are not respectful to your time, and your space, then you will ultimately ultimately resent them. And logically, you know, we can put tactics in place. We can be um, uh, very rational in our process of I'm going to, you know, put on the autoresponder on my WhatsApp because people will bombard me. Um, as I came back from holiday, I came back to over 105 WhatsApp messages, new WhatsApp messages. Um, uh, with a few smirky follow-ups to an autoresponder, um, I, on average, I do, if you look at your stats as well, this is something to do as an exercise. You look at it, um, I was averaging just before Christmas, uh, 114, 115 WhatsApp uh, messages a day. Um, and that over a week, seven day cycle, the average for a few months was like 800 something like that, six to 800 um and so you know if you were just to do some really simple maths on top of everything else that you've got to do if you take 115 divided by how many hours uh in a 12 hour window um uh divided by 12 you know you've got you've got to send if you reply to everyone, you've got to send an average nine and a half messages an hour. That maths is is bad. Uh, you can understand, you know, what that is um, can cause. You know, it's a full time job just to have fun, and and so a reason why I share this because I'm a big believer in you know the honesty of of how our uh, industry moves especially in just people just then my fascination with people and the understanding of how people go about their business and the demand that they place on others for their own sense of self when you put boundaries in place and i've spoke about boundaries before and um, there's loads of research online there's loads of well, you don't even need research you just basically need to know someone said something how did that make me feel did i like it no why? Because it val validated core values and beliefs. And then to you express that back. And, and when you get to certain points in your life, those people stop being in your life because you have to take them out of your life. Um, because if you know where you want to go and know what you want to achieve, I'm sure the people that are holding you in a place are not going to not going to want to to be a part of that and there's something that i was thinking about and as i've moved i've moved house and i've moved location and um there's you know all sorts going on um and i i was thinking about it i was talking to my therapist about it and um something really came up is that if you are a transformational being um like i am as i like to consider myself someone who readily tries to self-actualize um and keep improving then you will outgrow 
people in your life and being a business owner, being someone who's passionate about development, you always have to keep re-engineering and reinventing the persona that you are um, in certain ways. And I think that's really, really important to find where you're meant to be rather than getting to a certain point, getting a job, doing it for 30 years and then retiring the same person that got it because you've got no change and, and all you have is gray hair, you know, and a, and a dad bod, Christ. Um, and so when, um, when you think about that, think about some of the people in your life or think about these, these conversations that you have with people, do they, and they, and they do, this is what I'm actually saying, I'm not gonna ask you the question, I'll tell you is that people will talk to you as if you are the version in their life that they can comprehend the most, not the version that you are in your life. So if you go back, do you go back and you speak to people about, um, you know, go home for Christmas or go back for school holidays or, or whatever, you know, go back and meet an old group of friends. Conversation's the same, always stays the same. And that's because there's no collective growth as the unit. And I've been in those situations. I just sit there and I'm like, when do I get to go home? Because I, I want to have deeper conversations. That's why we have our legacy group where we have deep conversations. We nurture and we grow, we develop and, and, and we push on. And it's, it's a wonderful thing. It's a wonderful experience. And so, you know, just this short live video, um, let me know what you think in, in the comments. So send me a message about, does that resonate with you? Does, how does that make you feel in yourself? And that's why I've put an autoresponder on my WhatsApp and that's why it will stay. And, you know, it does take a bit of getting used to because you feel like you have to serve everyone. And that's someone that's something that I do because uh, part of my biggest downfall is I'm a people pleaser at, at heart because uh, I just want to be loved by by others um so let me know let me know what you think let me know how it how it how it resonates with you and um send this to someone if it's on youtube or on the sports talks podcast send send it to someone and i hope you enjoy it have a wonderful day let me know um i'm happy and going right back full circle i'm happy to hear about this sort of stuff because this stuff is the is the other conversations that don't really happen there are conversations that don't really get heard and but they're the ones that need to need to be had um because if you've got a partner and they complain about how much time you're on your phone then you need to listen to that you need to listen to that because otherwise the only partner you'll have is your phone and no one wants to go through life alone